Gaze forward. Right foot steps, left knee to the mat. This time let's bring our right hand to the inside of the right leg. We're gonna heel toe one time so that the knee, right knee is offset from the hip. So gentle hip opening here. Stay lifted through the arms and shoulders, wide through the chest so that we're not collapsing in between. Now this might be just perfect. Remember, you also can use your props under your hands here. Maybe we drop the knee open coming onto the outside blade of the right foot. Breathe. We'll take another breath here. Bring the sole of the foot back to the floor. Let's frame the right foot. We're gonna tuck the left toes. Step right foot back, down dog. Gazing forward for the left side this time. Left hand to the inside of the left foot. Heel toe open, offsetting the left knee from the left hip. Again, extension through the spine so we're not dropping into and rounding here. Take care of your spine. And then maybe we open the left knee. Bring the left sole of the foot to the floor. We'll heel toe that in one time. Frame the foot, tuck the right toes, left foot steps, down dog. Good. Gazing forward, right foot steps. Maybe we come back into this low lunge. Perhaps this time we take our focus to the left foot. We could stay right here as an option. But maybe we lift the right foot off of the mat. It's a little deeper stretch for the quadricep and so as on the left side. Stay long through your spine. We'll tuck the toes. Press into the hands. Step back down dog. Gazing forward now the opposite side. Left foot steps, right knee down. Staying in low lunge, any variation that works for you. An option could be to lift the right foot off of the floor. And you're off that right foot, bring it back to the mat, tuck the toes, press into the hands, lift the knees, step back down dog. to all fours. Let's pause right here. Child's pose. Remember, if you're using props, I encourage you to do that. Take care of yourself. So the next inhalation, let's walk our hands Back to our knees, bring ourselves up to hero's pose. So the shoulders are over the hips, hips over the ankles. We're just omitting the knees. So just like mountain pose, sitting tall, gentle stretch. Remember if you have knee ankle issues, you could prop or you could just skip this all together. So relieving some of the compression off of the knees. Good. So we're going to swing our legs around in front of us and come to a seated forward fold. Finding ourselves at a right angle. Stack pose. Drawing the toes towards us, lift the kneecaps towards us, engaging. It'll be the calves as well as the quadricep. The crown of the head over the tailbone, pull the heart forward slightly. So engaging the low back and abdominals. Breathing in, we'll take the hands overhead, exhale, fold in half. 
So remember in our forward fold, the goal is not to strive to touch the toes. We want to stay relaxed in the upper back and shoulders. Maybe we're just clasping onto our legs. That's fine, but not so much in the upper body. Relax that. Inhale, come all the way up. We're engaging the abdominals, so the low back has support. Windmill the hands behind us. So you could be with fingertips pointing towards the sides. If you have wrist issues, maybe it's better on your knuckles. Greater challenge would be fingertips to your hips. And then on the exhale, we'll lift, coming into reverse plank. So we're squeezing the glutes, making sure we're not dropping the chin, so keep the neck protected, extending, and the lower down, plus the feet, inhale, hands overhead, exhale to fold. Inhale, rise. Windmill the hands back, point toes, find your hand placement, exhale, lift. And breathe. Take a seat. One last time, inhaling, exhale, fold. Inhale, exhale, point the toes. So the hands and the heels carry the weight of reverse plank. And then we'll lower everything back down to the mat. Bringing the attention to the right foot, we're gonna bend the knee and bring it to the inside of the left leg. So we're sitting tall, we have a capital letter, L shape. Taking the right hand, the opposite hand to opposite leg, breathe in. Exhale, fold. So we're opening through the piriformis, gentle twist for the back. Again, where our hand placement is not is as important as bringing the ribs to the thigh, we're closing the distance. Good. Inhale, we'll rise. Then we're gonna bring the right sole of the foot to the floor. When we bring the right sole of the foot to the floor, we'll hug it in with the left arm, opposite arm. Draw that knee to midline. It's a little hip flexor stretch here. Pull the body to the leg and the leg to the body. The extended leg, left leg is active and engaged. We'll breathe in, take the hand overhead, exhale, bring the right hand behind the right hip. Rolling the right rib and shoulder open. Seated spinal twist. Maybe we take our arm to our thigh. We can add some leverage here. These are merely options, they're not requirements. Do what works for you, but you can still breathe evenly, fluidly. We'll exhale, come out of that pose, counter stretch, very grounded in the right hip, but just a small, gentle movement. Breathe. We'll return to center. The right leg extends. The left sole of the foot will come in to the inner thigh. So it's the mirror image of that L. Sitting tall, grounding through the sit bones. Left hand reaches to the right leg. Breathe in. As you exhale, fold. Perfect. Breathe. On the inhalation, we'll rise, bringing the left sole of the foot to the floor, hugging the knee in to the body, to the leg, leg to the body. This helps lengthen the spine. Then we'll begin the twist by bringing the right arm around the left shin. Draw that knee midline, feel the stretch on the outside of the hip. Inhale, create extension in the body. Exhale, left hand to the floor, rolling the left rib and shoulder open, adding the elbow to the thigh. If you feel like you need a little more leverage, remember, we just want to be kind to the body, stretch the body. It's not about strain or pain. Think stretch. And then we'll come back through center, all the way through to do a counter stretch on the opposite side. Left hip stays heavy. So it's not a big movement. We'll come back center, extend the left leg, we'll be turned to staff pose. We'll do our final forward fold here. Reach, 
extend, exhale, folding in half. Inhale, come all the way up, palms together, bring your hands down to our heart center. And now we'll make our way into final relaxation, the restorative portion. So you might like to put a blanket over you, you might like a prop under your knees. However it is that you're comfortable and relaxed on your mat, think about the shoulder blades being wide, the arms can be comfortably away from the body. This helps to open the chest. We're lifting the sternum off of the heart so that muscle is not compromised, giving it space. Allow the knees and toes to drop open. Notice the breath moving in and out of the body without effort. Allowing yourself to sink and settle into the mat. Allow the tightness of tension through your toes. Thank you. 